Hello everyone. Today we're going to use do a project that is kind of like the Fruit Ninja, but with us as the interactive player. This project will allow you to use your camera and detect the movements. Let me give you guys a little demo before we get started on the code. So as you can see, you have to touch the bananas and then they turn into pixels. Let's go ahead and get started with the code. First things first, we're going to get our sprite. Maybe we can get apples or let's try the apple this time. This uh, project here is basically an introduction to augmented reality where you are the user or the environment around you is the user and you add your elements to it. Kind of like Pokemon Go where people would go walk around and catch their Pokemons. And in this case, uh, we would be the, the fruit ninjas ca catching the fruit. So here's our sprite and we're going to go ahead and start by activating our cameras. Now when you do these, uh, Scratch would uh, will ask you to, to go ahead and allow for uh, your camera to be used by Scratch and you go ahead and click OK on that. So this here uh, turns on the video camera and we're going to broadcast to it. We're going to create our own broadcast message. So the next thing is we're going to check if our fingers are touching the apple. And the way we activate that is by using the video motion one. This here checks if uh, if the video if if sees our finger or part of motion touching in the apple. Then we're gonna uh, the banana is gonna be broadcasted as a slide. This is another broadcast we create. Sorry, apple. I forgot to change it to an apple. Now we're going to take an action um, when the banana is broadcasted as reset. So when we receive a reset, Sorry, the apple. We said on the apple. Then we have to wait. Wait, we do a wait of a random seconds. So sometimes we could wait one second or two, three or four.
like a pizza effect. And this will uh, cause for that uh, apple to turn into pixels, like it did uh, with the banana at the, in the demo. Now we're gonna use an if then statement. So this sets the uh, the randomness of the position of the banana and the randomness of the position of where the banana flies into the into the uh, stage. So we wanted to pick the random seconds it glides between two to three seconds. And we also wanted to pick the random Y position. So I can move this a little between negative 180 and positive 180. Let's just copy this. here. I want this to be positive. And this is uh, this is what we do when we get the reset for the ban the uh, broadcast of the banana that has been reset. Now we're going to set the, if we get the broadcast for the banana, when the banana is lighting we want to change uh, the effect. <clears throat> set. I'm going to change it to till it pixelates. We want it to broadcast and then reset. Okay. Let's 
give that a try see if uh, we call it right alright So if I don't touch it, it shouldn't change colors. It also shouldn't get stuck. Was it getting stuck? So this is how the code works. This up here, this section is what turns on your camera so that you can actually see yourself and you will be the player. The code, this uh, broadcast Apple is what calls the code Broadcast Reset Apple calls this code here, which is what controls how the Apple behaves on our screen. As you see, it's lighting around. It slides in, in uh, random locations. Then this here says that forever, we're checking to see if the finger or the player in the screen touches the Apple. And if it does, then we call this slide apple broadcast. So this is what waits for that. It's called this is called when that is true. This basically just changes the effect of how the apple looks into the pixels, and then it hides it and resets it again, and then calls a reset again here. The code here, the the one that uh, broadcast for the reset apple. Uh, waits for a random for one through four seconds and then it pixelates the apple and then it uh, either sets the apple to the left makes the apple appear from the left or makes the apple appear from the right depending on the randomness if the random number is one then it will appear from the left if the random number is two then it will appear from the right and then it hides and then again it calls itself again so that's how the code works uh, and this is our first introduction to virtual reality idea well the augmented reality that you guys are familiar with with the uh, Pokemon Go and all that kind of games that are very popular nowadays and this is just the beginning of uh, of the advanced topics on this book and again this is a uh, project from coding for Ki coding for kids in scratch 3 and uh hope you guys liked it i uh, will look into the next one tomorrow bye